The St. George City Council chambers were packed Thursday night as people came to either support the renewal of the city's sponsorship of the downtown farmer's market or stand against it. Among the supporters were members of the area's LGBTQ community. The downtown farmer's market has been running for 15 years and moved to Vernon Wortham Park six months ago when the city agreed to sponsor the weekly event by waiving certain event and park use fees. While the majority of the council supported continuing the sponsorship of the market, Councilwoman Michelle Tanner voiced opposition to it. Tanner also said she felt the organizers had abused the city's sponsorship by using it to promote a drag booth that took money for photos with members of Southern Utah drag stars. The money itself was said to be donations that would go to fund drag shows in the community. Tanner's specific objection was that she felt these activities were being targeted to children. Council member Daniel Larkin said Tanner's description of the booth was incorrect. <laughs> Despite Tanner's objection, the council voted 4-1 to one to renew the market sponsorship for another six months. Downtown Farmers Market co-owners Kat Puzzi and Ashley Tiller spoke to St. George News following the vote. A lot of vendors, like most of those people were our vendors from the Farmers Market that were just so relieved that they still have this option and avenue to make money that it was just completely overwhelming. I believe the reason why I keep fighting for this Farmers Market year after year is because it would be absolutely devastating to this community to lose it. You have farmers that would have no longer a place to sell their goods, and if we're not on our last leg of farmers in Southern Utah, I don't know who is, we, you would lose an entire generation of micro businesses that had a place to go, to grow, to build their brand, to get their product. You would lose that incubation level, and that should be scary for any local economy to be healthy, you have to have it growing here. You have to have these people that come up with great ideas and that does not happen anywhere else but at a farmer's market. So if that was to go away, I think it would be a damn travesty. All right, and this last part here, uh, what would you like to add to let people know about this that I have not asked about? Asked about? Um, come out, come check us out. If you haven't been, this is a safe environment for all walks of life. Come, come be our friend. We want to talk to you. We want to hear your story. Like, we this love is, this community. Yeah, this is the place to build community. Like, I always tell my personal story. When we moved down here, we have no family. We have no friends, no relatives. We had no one. And my entire community, my close friends, my inner circle was all built at the farmer's market. So if you are struggling building a community, this is where you should come. Come and meet your local makers. Come and see the great people that are coming every week to shop. Come and meet your staff. That, uh, we love hearing local stories. We love meeting our, our community. That's what we're here for. This is your space. This is a safe space. To learn more, go beyond the headline and read the story below. I'm Maury Kessler with St. George News, your number one source for local news.